Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 45 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2014 with Bath City. Uh, got some more games for you today. I might do two or three. We'll see how it goes. But uh, we have started the season really, really strongly. We're in a really good position. The only downside is our finances in the red, but not much you can do about that apart from the cup runs when they come around. FA Trophy uh, might try and win that competition, actually. I'm not sure if you see rules here. You can see how much you win for it. Oh, but that's just getting to the next round 4K. But nonetheless, it would be good to uh, do well because right now, the way we're playing, we look like we can beat anyone at this level. But I know that's one league above as well, like Skrull Premier. But yeah, I believe we can beat those teams as well you know, with the way we're playing. But of course, uh, there's going to be times like here when our condition levels are going to be some problems. And yeah, like when you have these kind of problems in defense... Look the low conditions there. You need to make some change. I might bring on Marvin Bennett, uh, but Gallina has to start. I'm not going to make... It's hard to say. What's better? Uh, playing experienced guy with 82 condition or a younger guy who's definitely not as good, but there's not... Because it's a lower league, there's not really too much difference between the players, and I wouldn't want him to get injured. So, yeah, leave your thoughts what you would do, but today I'm recording heaps, so I always say leave your thoughts, but I record in advance, so it's hard to yeah make an impact in at least recent episodes, maybe in the future from here, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're still going to have a fairly strong team, though. As we'll go into today's game, we need to continue the form. That's why I'm a bit skeptical of changing my team heaps, because the team I was starting with was really good, even with O'Callaghan. I just dropped him out to the bench because his fitness is not good enough. I'm sure you saw. Look at that. He's tired. I don't want him getting injured. He's been our key player, apart from Putman uh, scoring the goals. Without him, he wouldn't be getting the assist. So, yeah, hopefully Jack comes in and does a job. You know, he has been a good player previously, but definitely not as the same quality. And for me, yeah, hard tackling plus if low condition has worked. But, yeah, see, this is weird. Look at this. Gloucester, they have no really low condition players, apart from Dale Dukes, who's 85. That's the lowest for them. So, you have to be wary. And we need to continue the win. That is... We need to continue winning. This is what the best teams do. This is, at this level, the teams that have that automatic promotion, yeah, well, the teams at that automatic promotion, they win really regularly. They still lose games, uh, but you need to make sure. I want to make sure I'm that team. That's going to be first. Oh, no. And they just get this miracle goal out of nowhere. You don't really see too many long shot goals at this level, but Robert Gradwell, he came up. Uh, I thought we defended pretty well there. Ngoy was in front of him. <laughs> I'm not sure how he got that shot on off, but yeah. I thought we defended that well. That uh, took me by surprise, if I'm honest. We're going to have to yeah, definitely get a goal back here. Oh, no, not again. Oh, good save, Churchill. That was a really good save. That could have easily been a goal. It was looking to be in. Come on, defend. Again, Teddy Ongoy did well on that occasion. Like, he hasn't done too bad. Obviously, he conceded that goal there when he was in the way. But he could have... I thought he should have stopped that, at least. He was in the way of the player. But, yeah, you just have to move on from this. Just look to score here. Come on. Gallina, Bossman. Putman scores. He's going to get us out of these sticky situations. Like, when we're down, he'll come up. He'll take the opportunity. And he's going to do that regularly. Gallina did well to find Bossman. Then Bossman found Putman. And that was actually good passing there. Really good passing. So it was good to get that goal back. And yeah, to make sure we're not behind, just go in, give my team talk, or yeah, give my players a lifting team talk assertive. Uh, you can still win this one and hopefully give them the faith. It wasn't amazing reactions, but it's still uh, telling the players you can still win this and I believe they'll gain confidence out of that. Can't win the header here. And at the same time, still, we're getting experience into some younger players. There's not heaps of younger players. Oh, no, please don't. Not from an error. Lucky. And, yeah, he's probably the key guy now, Churchill, as a younger player. Oh, Churchill again. Got to make sure we don't concede here. But, yeah, we don't have as many younger players now. Our team's actually really experienced. Like, this starting 11 here. Most players are experienced. Like, Williams, again, he's one of the other young players. But still, he's been at the team for a couple seasons now. Jack play it through. Putman finds Jack. Oh, why didn't he shoot? Putman should have had the shot. 
So yeah, we might look to make changes here. Depends what happens here. Oh, Putman again. Oh, off the bar. How unlucky. Who went close. You can't get more close. than look at that. Look at the condition. This is... Like, if we can somehow not lose this game, I'd be happy. Like, take off Dutton here. Like, 54 condition. Come on. Bring on Marvin Bennett. Drop him back for Wooten. There's not much more I can do. What? Bring on Ben Garner. Some youth for Adelsbury. No idea who to bring on here. O'Callaghan, he's been our best player in midfield. Or Ross Stern with superb morale. What do I do? Now, I'm going to bring on Stern for Bossman. I have to leave Putman on. Pressure off for a young player. And Ross Stern, come on, you have the ability. Oh, he's on superb morale and he looks happy. Surely he should. Well, not surely, but there's not more I could have done in terms of, and yeah, in terms of team talk right there. And it could lead to a goal, maybe. Williams, Jack play it through, Putman, oh, come on, you've got to be finishing that, 17 finishing, whatever it is, and great composure, Garner, Jack, Watton, no, it's not going to be a chance, or is it, Jack, yeah, <laughs> my first thought was right, not going to be a goal, but there's a corner here, yeah, it's, the highlight was already there, like our shots, maybe I can go overload, oh no, there's highlight already, it's over. But there's a minute left. It still could be a goal, actually. Oh, please don't concede. Please. Why? We don't deserve to lose this at all. Ah, come on. See, these are difference makers. And this crap regen scored it. How does he score that? Bang. What's his long shots? Six long shots is that. Wow, okay. That makes sense. But there you go. The difference is just a wonder strike. Actually, two wonder strikes. The other goal was like that as well. So, a bit unlucky. Like, you can see here, Churchill was our best player by rating. Uh, we just He was beaten by two, two strikes outside of the box. And they could have been deflections. I don't really know, but... Yeah, unlucky. He performed perfectly, really, as a goalkeeper. That's one of his better games he's had for us. He's actually doing really well this season so far. Just, yeah, that game was a bit of a disappointment. He's got great ratings, though. But that's what I mean. When, like, That's just because our condition was low. We had to rest a lot of our key players, and the players did play. Their condition was too low to make an impact. So there's not much I can do. We just got to move on to the next game against Tonbridge, who are sitting in a lowly 21st. We should be beating them. Okay, so here we are, the game today against Tonbridge. We are 6th and they are 21st. We will be looking for a win once again, hopefully to push back into a first position. Uh, Eastbourne Borough, they have been really, really good. They've been the next best team but I still believe we've been the best. You look at all these. I've got the most goal scorer. I've got two players in the average ratings. George O'Callaghan, who's first. We needed to rest him in the previous game. That's what I mean. And Putman was really tired from playing heaps. And yeah, O'Callaghan, five assists. And we had to rest him. And now he's ready for this game. So that should be the difference. I, I'm pretty sure we'll win this. So we'll take Jack off now. And even Ross Stern to start ahead of Bossman. That's what I mean. Like the previous game, even Curtis McKenzie, he needed a rest. Maybe why we conceded and we'll take out Wooten out of the team. And yeah, that's probably what's the difference going to be. But Wooten, I'll bring him on the bench for Ghana. Um, yeah, look at all my ratings of my players. Really, really good. And Dan Bull also to come in for Watts. He's probably the better player. You can see the difference in average rating as well. Dan Bull's a really quality player. He's still a young player as well, but... Getting that experience now. We missed him in the last game. And yeah, just looking at this team, it's really, really strong. Marvin Bennett. I think we'll bring... We need another player. I'm not sure who. Tolly? Maybe. But still, I cannot drop Putman because his goal scoring... He's too prolific. He's got 17 finishing. And you've seen when he's had chances, he just finishes every single time. I can't take, I can't bring myself to take him off, regardless of whatever his condition is. Uh, but anyway, 
uh, George Byers, he might have to be given some under-21 squad games just to get his fitness back up. Even Ben Garner in the under-18s because he's like a young player. And even Stuart Jones, but probably under-21s. But yeah, it's good to have McKenzie back in. He's got an average rating of 8. That's insane. And you can tell already, I've never had these great ratings before. Like all players above 7 and some players over 8, like Putman and O'Callaghan, who's over 9. So actually, O'Callaghan, he's been better than Putman. <laughs> but he's only played two games. He didn't play in the loss. So you got to take that into account as well. Stern's been good. Come on, we should be winning this. Let's go into Passionate and say, let's do it for the fans. We're at home. We have to do it for the fans. Let's see what we can... It will be tough if we lose this. Like, It can happen still, but I wouldn't think we'll lose. We should be winning this, uh, judging off our previous performances with our better players back in. Adelsbury as well, full condition, more or less. One problem I may notice is Gallinar at right back. We don't really have another strong right back, but as I mentioned, Ball can play there. Then we can switch our other left back we have, and Adelsbury scores. He's back on the score sheet. Come on, Adelsbury. It's good that he wanted to join once again his contract. You didn't see it, but yeah, I made sure he wanted to uh, join. Well, when he was about to leave, when the contracts were about to run out, I checked him. I just went through the contract one more time, and he said he wanted to join. Well, he was, yeah, it didn't have that error message. Well, not error message, like saying he didn't want to listen to a new contract, but he did. I was surprised, but he wanted a lot, but he got to give him. He's our best player. Well, we've got a few best players now, but I mean in the, oh, come on. In the whole scheme of things, like since we've started, he's been our most impressive player. Come on. Who's Tony Garrett? Was he any good? Look, he's not even, he's got all these low attributes. Come on. Okay, we're on the attack straight away. Putman, O'Callaghan, Adelsbury, Putman. Adelsbury plays through Putman. Oh, he should have finished that. Wow, I'm surprised. See, now, the only problem is I'm going to be expecting him to finish all the time because of his good attributes, in finishing at least. Come on, win the header. That was well done, but it goes back to them. Got to be careful here. Uh, Joseph Dubois, Berry. They look dangerous. Oh, but it's given away. Come on, Dutton. No. Wow. This is going to be really disappointing if we lose here against this team. That was great passing by them. Have to give credit to them. Look at that. Magaridge finished. We need to get a goal back again. Stern. O'Callaghan. Passing's good in midfield. Some skill there. Uh, finds Grooms and he goals. That's better. Right away we score. That's what we need. But that experience, look at that. Look at the assist by Adelsbury. Perfect. He's lifting. Now we've got to try and score again to get in front. But no doubt, I'm going to... Oh, no, not again. Yeah, good save, Churchill. That's the thing. At this level, well, yeah, this the way I'm playing, like attacking, is like these results are going to, well, these kind of games are going to be shown. These goals, these kind of games are going to happen where both teams score goals. Like I'll concede goals playing on attacking, of course. I just got to score more than my opponent. So here I'll say assertively, I'm not happy. We need to be playing much better. And you see how much you can, morale can change just after one game, really? That's so weird. Our morale was superb just a couple games ago. What happened? We need a win for it to get back up to the high level because that's how you can go on runs of losing. Oh, come on. We need to finish this dominance. It just straight after half time as well. And McKenzie, he's really stepping up. You can see by his average rating, it was eight, wasn't it? And Uddlesbury should win this. Doesn't. Got to be careful for Penny here. Got to be careful. Oh, no. This is not great. Come on, you got to win that. Who's that? Galanar slacking off. This has to be a promotion season. It has to. Wow. 
Berry. Save it. Your shit. No, I'm done. Again. <laughs> oh, see, look at the morale. That's... Why do the players on the bench get poor morale? Worse than the players that's actually playing. That makes no sense whatsoever. Putman, now I have to put uh, discipline. He can't know he's going to play all the time for sure. He's going to get dropped. Come on, Tolly. Ball's played crap. Watts, we need some pace from left back maybe to get forward. Uh, and Calvin Bossman, come on, do something. But again, as I said, playing attacking, we're probably going to have these games when we don't defend well and we don't take our own chances. We have to learn. I don't, I'm not going to watch that again. No, not again. Oh, good save. Credit to Churchill. He makes saves when he can. Sometimes, yeah, it's just impossible. Uh, and Putman's off as well. I took him off in the frustration. And Tolly's not as good, obviously. But he scored heaps for us. Come on. What is happening? This team's down the bottom. Again, it may not be a promotion season if we're going to continue to play like this. What's the goalkeeper doing? He's just like running away from it. Tolly finish. O'Callaghan finds Gallinar, finds Bossman. And that's another chance that we don't finish. O'Callaghan. What are you doing, Mackenzie? Who was that actually to? Oh, no. And now our morale is going to have a big hit. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Tolly. You're supposed to be our star player. Now you're doing nothing. Watts, put it in. Don't run away. O'Callaghan gives us a slight hope. Gives us a slight hope and scores. Uh, Watts did well getting forward. The reason I put him on then Williams with another assist. And George O'Callaghan smashed it and he scored. Uh, he picks up a yellow now. No, we're not going to get anything from this. We're not going to score two times in ten minutes. And now two times in... Doesn't even matter. Let's go overload for the lols. We're not going to get anything out of the match anyway. There you go. There you go. What are you doing? I'm going to actually say nothing. Let's just leave. Wow, we had 59% possession. It sure looked like it, didn't it? And we had double way more. Way more shots. But they... you got to look at that. They had six clear-cut chances. But we're at home. We're supposed to attack. And we've done well in previous games. That is shocking. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to play another game. Who's next? Stains. Okay, we have to win against them, surely. They haven't even won yet. We need to get on, uh, like, our first two games. Come on. Improve. If I don't win the next game, something has to change. This has to be a promotion season. Stains scouting report. We'll work on attacking movement. We just got to look to attack. That's what we got to do. Attack, attack. And score more goals than my opponent. Get my best starting 11 once again. Because still, yeah, the condition was pretty low of players. So here today is the game against Staines Town. You can see here, they're actually favourites. This is the weird thing. But it is home. They're 21st, but they're favourites. So it really, it's weird to see how the outside, like the media and stuff is judging us. Obviously, we're not really renowned as a team that should be finishing first. And you can see that with the view club. So people said that I should get promoted. I'm, I need to take my expectations back. I don't want to say I'm going to, I should get promoted because it's just going to be bad luck for me. I'm probably going to start losing like I have done. Yeah, so I'm going to take my expectations back. I'm not expecting to get promoted this season. I'm just going to expect to get like mid-table once again. 
I'm just going to say that so I don't put pressure on myself and expect to win because I can only do what my expectations say, can I? So that's all I'm going to put my expectations for myself for now. I'm not going to be saying I should get promoted because that's only going to go badly. Because if I reach my expectations, then I'm doing my job. Uh, but anyway, let's start Bossman ahead of Stern. Got to give him some games. And Stern could come on as a striker as well. Drop Tolly out. He's still too young, I think. He'll bring on George Byers on the bench. He'll come on for Adelsbury or something. Anyone else on the bench that could make an impact? Lamar Powell, no. no Tolly, no. Stuart Jones as a centre-back. Depends how... I'm going to drop Ngoy, actually. And bring in Watton some more experience and see how he goes at the back. Then I'll bring on Stuart Jones on the bench. Could play left back and centre back. Then we'll take this Watts guy off and maybe bring Tolly back in because he can play wide and striker. I've got to, I've got to find my balance early. Actually, no, I'm going to try and counter, see how that goes. See if we can see less. I don't really know, but we'll see how it goes. It's still about experimenting. But look at this. Wow. That's a weird formation. Three at the back. I've always said three at the back is bad. We should have chances. Like We should be winning this. No wonder they're near the bottom. They're playing like that. Three at the back is never good in Football Manager unless you find in a good balance and you make a good tactic. But Putman's on and scores already. What did I say? What did I say? Three at the back is never, never good. I've tried to do it a few times. Maybe it's me horrible at making three at the back tactics, but still, and my experience against playing against them, you can see already, Putman, class finish. We're in the lead. And we'll see how we go, how much chances we concede on counter. But I can't really judge. Like I said, three at the back's not a great formation, so we should... Oh, that should have been finished. That should have been finished. Without a shadow of a doubt. O'Callaghan. Williams. Wins a corner. We could still actually have a chance from here because, yeah, we didn't score, of course, or have a shot on target. Putman. Well, that's the chance. That would have been the key chance, I reckon. But who knows? We move up to fifth, apparently. Come on, Bossman. What's that? Free kick for what? Come on. Score, please. We cannot have the, all these chances and not score. Get it. Okay, now he just timed that tackle well, even though he didn't have the ball. Just <laughs> Need to do much better. We need to lift our performances to the first couple games. Putman! There he is. He needs to be on confident. He's already got <laughs> 10 goals for the season. Wow. He could get 50 or something crazy like that. Total. O'Callaghan play through Putman and he makes it look easy. He makes it look easy and it's 2-0. But we need to consistently play like this. Like we're playing against a bottom team that hasn't won a game yet. Cool, Williams, interesting cross there. Hit the post. Uh, but we deserve a lead, of course. Two assists for O'Callaghan and two goals for Putman. You're going to see that. Now, don't get complacent. Come on. How do they get confused from that? Oh, my brain hurts. Partman just say, you need to calm down. Or What's the point? I don't know how they get confused from telling them you need to focus and don't get complacent and just make sure you don't concede goals. What's confusing? I've never... I've always said it because I don't understand. I don't understand. But as long as they're winning... As long as we don't give it away, it's okay. So bring on Anthony Jack now. The fitness of O'Callaghan, his management, like managing his fitness is crucial. He's our key player. Of course, we've got Putman, but without him, we need a good... Yeah, we need a player that's going to provide assist, and we need that. Ross turn to come on for Bossman, and then uh, Stuart Jones at the back will take off McKenzie because he hasn't had the best of games. He might make a few errors. And no pressure. All good reactions. So we shouldn't drop it here. 
all players coming on get a good reaction. Perfect player talks. No, please don't. <sighs> oh, that's lucky. It was off the crossbar. Really close. Last 10 minutes. We need to hold on. No, don't. <laughs> We've been lucky. They've had a close couple chances that's come off the post, so we've been very lucky. Could have easily been two goals, really, with a bit of luck for them, but luckily yeah, there wasn't. Just control here. Yeah, maintain the possession, then finish it, Stern. Uh, this game has been hard to judge. It has been hard to judge. Oh, Putman smashed it straight at Turner. Yeah, but we've got the win. They won't score two. Galinar wins it back. He's going to have to play a lot at right back this season. We do have a young player at right back, but probably not good enough yet. We got a couple, really, but mostly that natural centre back. We do have one natural right back in the under 18s with high potential to be like Skrull Premier level, I think. But yeah, this was a really good performance. At the end of the day, they were. They didn't get complacent, which was good. And we've got 17 goals, but look at this. Eastbourne Borough, 16 goals, but 7 conceded. See, we're not too far away from that. But, yeah, if we continue this form, we can move... Oh, the way I see it, I reckon this season we could actually... Being realistic, I reckon we could get into the playoffs. So I'm being realistic. Like I said before, we should just get mid-table, uh, like our expectations. But you always want to get promoted. And look at this Putman. His long shots are going up. Wow, that's good. But anyway, I'll leave it here for now. Unfortunately, we were losing a couple games, but it's really good to end it on a win. It's really it's good to get a win there because, especially after the last two games, wait. Yeah, we lost the last two games. I was just saying, yeah, this is a long episode. So it was good to end it with a win after two disappointing results. And hopefully, maybe that can spark us and we can go on a run of winning once again. Well, it was just two games there, but still, if we would win the next couple... We'll see how we go. We've got a couple of interesting games, but yeah, leave your thoughts where I should finish, judging on my team. Do you think I'll get promoted? But still, my expectations is mid-table, so I'm just expecting to come there so I don't put pressure on myself. But uh, look at that Welling. They won in 2013, then got relegated, then they won it again. <laughs> interesting, but yeah, like I said, I don't have a team like that. I don't have a team that's expecting to get promoted, like maybe like an Eastley and that, who's a professional, who are actually a professional club. But anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.